All right, guys. I figured I'd give you guys all a March, end of March, beginning of April update. Uh, been a while since I actually had a chance to make a video. As you can see, my garage is completely full of projects at this point. Uh, spring is definitely here. <laughs> I got a lot of equipment in here going to be out for sale. I got stuff that people bought to fix. Um, so I figured I'd just could do a little overview of what I have in here and general update now before i turn don't mind the mess i like i said i've been super busy and haven't had much time to make videos so my garage is kind of a disaster zone at this point but uh, i figured i'd go over what i have here so this is a yard machines uh i pieced together that had no motor on it so i found a good motor and put on it waiting on a blade adapter for it and then that one will be good to go this craftsman here, I was going to make a video on uh, up a video of uh, repairing it, but like I said, I've been so busy, I, it takes me longer to put a video together with the camera and setting all that up, and so I figured I'd just repair it and get it over with. But uh, has a fourteen and a half horse uh, Braden Stratton IC Gold. The motor was pulled out, had new gaskets put in it. Uh, new oil seals, carburetor was completely rebuilt, new fuel line, oil change, uh, air filter, general tune-up stuff. Uh, well, what else did I do? I also I rebuilt the steering because it was it has the generator generation one steering in it, which is known to fail. So I rebuilt that. Uh, I still have to fix the hood. It needs the front grille, which I have on order, and I got to get the deck and rebuild the deck yet but slowly but surely this one's coming together uh over here i have uh, a lawn boy it's just a standard lawn boy push mower no self repel no nothing uh pretty much it's pretty much a toro but we'll just call it a lawn boy and then i have a toro deck up front there which i have to get a motor mounted to it the 318 is still in its winter clothes i guess uh Covered up with blankets just because I got cats that sleep on it. <laughs> but this, I got to get take the snow blade off and do an oil change and a general tune up on it and get my moldboard plow ready for PA plow day coming up in the next couple weeks. So I got my work cut off for me there. I also have to swap the hard to see back there, but I got to swap the tires and uh, wait, wait over my other rims that have the ag tires on. Uh, what else? This simplicity here came in for repair. It needs overhauled basically. Uh, it has a Core Command 14 horse. Um, has half a dozen oil leaks on it. Uh, it does the tractor does run and drive. Uh, surprisingly, when I got it, it was more dirt than tractor. But I got all power washed and cleaned up enough to where I can work on it. But I got to pull the motor out, do seals and everything on that. Uh, the deck needs some pulleys, general belts, uh, overall just a general tune-up, but overall the tractor is actually not in terrible shape, so it's definitely worth fixing. So I gotta get the parts and get started on that. Then this, uh, Simplicity Broadmoor back here is one that I have been working on that's gonna go up for sale here shortly. Uh, it has a, let's come over here and show you. has a... Uh, 17 horse Vanguard single cylinder, it's basically an Intec motor. It's just they put Vanguard on it. Uh, again, I pulled the motor out of this and did a complete rebuild. Not really like no, didn't do pistons or anything. I just did gaskets and seals. Uh, rebuilt the carburetor. Uh, what else did I do? I got to get a battery for it. I put a new seat on it. Uh, I've yet I have to put a drive belt on it and get the mower deck which is sitting over there sharpened the blades and new belts for that and undercoat it and then that'll be mounted onto this and this thing will be headed out the door. Uh, again, didn't have much time to really film it. Even I wanted to film it, but I got five or six more tractors that need to be repaired this spring before uh, selling season's over. So I got to kind of get my butt in gear and do it, but. Uh, this here is a Bolins push mower, just a cheap MTD, but uh, just general tune-up done on it. 
uh, most of these push marks came from the same place uh, that's if you go back and watch a couple of my first videos there's a video of a uh, my junkyard basically that I had told the story about buying the guy out and uh, that's where this one came from so it was basically all it needed was a carburetor rebuild and I believe a coil and it's been fine ever since it runs and cuts like it's supposed to so that's going to be getting up for sale here shortly back here is a super nice toy built self-propelled electric start with a bagger and side discharge uh, i got this for free and it needed nothing well i stand corrected it needed to tune up and a the charger for the uh the recharge the battery for the electric start but it ran when i got it but it was free uh, over here is a Craftsman Professional, also MTD. Um, again, got it for free. The motor that was on it was blown. So I had another, I had a Husqvarna push motor with the exact same model of motor. So I swapped the covers and stuff over to that one and mounted it to this deck. And that one also runs in cuts and does what it needs to do. This weed whacker here actually came with this Troy built push mower. It was free as well. All I had to do was put, dump the old gas out and put new stuff in it. And it fired up and runs great. I did have to uh, adjust the carburetor a little bit because that's, I'm sure most of you know you, that after you run these two cycles for a while, they kind of need to be tweaked a little bit to get them to run better. But I adjusted the carb and it's been fine ever since. And then back under the bag of this Craftsman, there's another little Bowlands push mower that was came with the Troy belt as well. Uh, that one I had to rebuild the carburetor and get a new blade for. Other than that, the paint, surprisingly, the underside of that deck still has original paint on it, so this thing hardly has been used. So that's a good mower to get out for sale, so that's going to be going out in the next couple of days here. Um, as you can see back in the corner here, I got just junk piled up. Like I said, I've been so busy, i got to go through all these used parts that I have laying around here. That There's a Brazen Stratton flatheads in the, down there that was... Pulled off a of trout, there's another one back under the hood, a couple of Tecumseh motors. That snow blurts aren't sitting back there, that thing runs, but it never sold, so it's going to be going in the storage for the summer. Um, what else here? Over here, I got a couple of seats on the ground. That motor there is going to be going on that Toro without the motor on it. And then in this box, I got nothing, just a bunch of parts that I'll put tags on and label and put them in storage. But like I said, been busy, haven't had a chance to do it, so this pile just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Overall, that's about it. Although I, I guess I can go out and show you the what I have going on in the back backyard here. All the other tractors I got to do. It's kind of rainy out, but I'll just kind of give you a walk around of it. So, so back here is the tractors that are waiting to be repaired. I apologize if there's any wind noise or if there's any spots on the lens because it's kind of it is raining out. So under this first cover is a 1960s Jacobson uh, Chief, 1200 Chief. Uh, I got that off a good buddy of mine, uh, Garden Trader Acres. You should check him out on YouTube. I'll link his his channel in the description. Um, it's going to get re completely restored this summer if I get a chance to do it. Under this cover is a John Deere L120 or 130, I believe. Uh, it needs a transmission, which I have on order. Uh, it only has 150 hours on it, I believe, and it runs, but the transmission is no good, so I got that coming in. Under this cover is a Simplicity Regent, kind of similar to that one. I was in the garage, a little older one. Uh, this is to be determined if it's worth fixing or just going for parts. And under this cover is a Kubota that needs a motor, so that's going to be coming up here shortly once I get a motor for it. And then back under here, we're back behind this shed. Uh, this cover here has the Craftsman deck under it. There's a Simplicity deck for one of the ones in the garage, which I'll have to go back up because I forgot to show you. Under this cover is a Agco Alice. Oh, what is it? 1820, I believe, or something. I forget the model. It's an Agco Alice. Under this cover is the yard machines. These are all push mower decks that I have motors for that have to come up and get mounted to it. Uh, this is a Scots, which you can see the cover came off. I'll have to fix that. It has a... What does that have in it? It's not the original engine. I 
actually don't know what that is. It's a v, Brickton Stratton V twin, but I'm not sure what the model is or horsepower. And then under here is a white branded tratter. And then in another location, I have all of my I have a X Mark Zero Turn, or I mean Walk Behind, and a another yard machines as well that need to get, get fixed. So. Hopefully, if I get a chance to, I'll make some videos of those things. But uh, let me go back up to the garage, and we'll take a look at that last tratter. And the last tratter that I have sitting in the garage here, which I completely skipped over, is a uh, Simplicity Landlord. Um, picked this up for pretty cheap recently. It had no deck. The brake assembly snapped off the rear end, so i got to see if I can replace it. looks like it's fairly simple to replace. Uh, that deck that's sitting down back, that just shows you that big 50-inch deck is what goes on this. It has, if I can get the hood to go, huh? not too sure why the hood doesn't want to open now, but it's got a 18-horse uh, V-twin Vanguard engine, and it does run and drive um, motor release oil. So again, it needs the gaskets and seals done to it and it's going to get all new tires the whole way around it and i'm also if you can tell how faded the hood is compared to this spot that i wet sanded so i'm gonna wet sand the whole tratter and touch up paint and stuff and make it look nicer uh it has 1,253 hours on it which honestly for one of these vanguards that is not terrible uh this other than the tratter being faded the sheet metal is really straight um also have another deck sitting back here it has to go get a motor stuck on it but other than that guys that's about it uh again i apologize for lack of videos in the last month or month month and a half i've just been absolutely swamped with work um hoping to get some more views pumped out for you guys and i'll definitely probably film swapping the 318 back over the plow mode or for pa plow day and i'll definitely film pa plow day this year hopefully the weather holds out and hopefully i can see some of you guys there um yeah other than that guys that's about it i appreciate everybody everybody watching and uh i will catch you in the next one see you later